Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. As you can see today I'm filming in different setup. So I'm sitting in front of my vanity and I'm actually going to film a palette pingo today. I'm really really excited. I haven't filmed myself doing my makeup in really really long time. I believe the last tutorial I have filmed was back in June. Tutorials are not really my type of videos to film. They, they take a lot of work and they are so hard to edit, I feel. It's just really not something I enjoy. But I think I really want to film some palette pingos this year because I'm rotating through my whole eyeshadow collection. Also, I might film Get Ready With Me once in a while. I have to think about it. But now, today, I will be filming a palette pingo with my Too Faced Chocolate Power palette. This is the main eyeshadow palette I have in my shop, my shadows rotation for February. As you know, it's pretty neutral palette. I don't think I can get too, too difficult color story from this one. I still need my makeup to look pretty today. We are having a family dinner. I hope I don't get anything too, too crazy. But let's pick the eyeshadows that I will use today. I will pick five eyeshadows. This palette does have 16 eyeshadows and I will pick five. And I need to create my eye look with those five eyeshadows. The only extra shadow that I can use if I need to is a highlighter. That one that I'm going to wear on my face, I have not yet decided which one it is, but that one I can use like in my inner corner and in my brow bone if needed. So I'm going to use random.org to pick five eyeshadows from 1 to 16. So let's pick the first one. Two. One, two. White chocolate. It is a matte light cream shade. Really, really basic. Really easy shade. Here it is. I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty close to my skin tone. Shade number two. Twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So hazelnut. It is like a warm brown. Not too deep, not too light. Really pretty shade. Really wearable. So this is what it looks so far. I hope I can get some mattes. So let's pick the new shadow. 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Hot chocolate. So it is also a shimmery brown. Then let's pick the shade number 4. 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Semi-sweet we would say in Finland, but semi-sweet I guess. So it is a matte mid tone brown. I am really glad I got this because I needed something to my crease. But the color story that I have so far is pretty brown. I wish I could get something to spice this up a little bit for my last shade. But we will see. Let's pick the final shade. One. Okay, <laughs> this was for sure nothing exciting. Gilded Ganache. So it is like an olive type of shade, like it has some gold glitter in it. It's definitely not my favorite shade from this palette because it's really it's really dry-ish, glittery, messy type of shade. But for sure it goes beautifully with the color story I got from this palette. But this look is going to be pretty brown. <laughs> I hope you don't mind it. But let me zoom you in a little bit so I will start creating my look from the shadows. I have already done my base makeup and bronzed my face a little bit and I have done my brows and primed my eyes. Because I'm used to doing eyeshadow first and because I will be working with very deep eyeshadows, I will put on some baking powder under my eyes. So if there is fallout, it's going to go on top of the powder. I usually don't like to bake because it may make my, you know, under eye look a little bit crepey, but I rather take that than brown fallout on my under eyes. Whoa, this is really brightening. It is the Makeup Revolution Lace Setting Powder or Baking Powder. I think we are set now and we can start with the look. Okay, so I'm going to start by bringing this shade semi-sweet to my crease. I'm really glad I got this one because I really don't know how to do looks without a matte crease color. I'm going to just 
bring this to my crease because this is pretty deep shade for myself I'm going to really really tap off the excess and then build the color up I think it's a little bit deep I wish I had a transition set that is a little bit lighter but it's totally something I can work with I think I will try to blend this a little bit with the Sigma E40 brush, that previous one was Sigma E35 but this one is fluffier and bigger so maybe it will make it look not quite as harsh but it doesn't matter if it is a little bit patchy right now because I'm going to go in with the deeper shadows too so this is just like a base for the other shades. Okay, then I'm going to go in with the said hazelnut. I'm going to bring it to my whole lid from the inner part to almost the outer corner, but there I'm also going to bring another color. Oh my gosh, I got some fallout right away. I'm taking a little bit more of this shade semi-sweet with a smaller blending brush. This is the Sigma E25 and I'm just dabbing my brush here and I will bring it a little bit more to the crease and blend the shimmery shadow. Next I'm going to take the shade Gilded Ganache and I'm going to bring it to the outer third of my lid. This shade is really not my favorite. Even though I do pack it on, it, it really doesn't show up as olive as it looks in the pan. It's just like a deep brown with some gold glitter. I'm again going back with a little bit more of semi-sweet in the outer corner crease area to blend everything. And then I'm taking just a little bit of hazelnut to my finger and I'm going to bring it to the inner and middle part of the lid. I like doing this with shimmery shadows because I feel that my finger usually makes it appear like a little bit more shimmery. Next I'm going into the shade white chocolate and I'm going to bring it to my brow bone. This is not like a too too highlighting shade for me because it's really really close to my skin tone. It's only a little bit lighter so I don't know if you can really even see it is or I mean I really cannot but anyways I need to use it so <laughs> I'm going to use it like that but I do like this shade I think it's it's a great bone color shade okay I think the upper part of my eyes is ready so now it's time to wipe off the baking powder and I wish the fallout can <laughs> come off at the same time I'm using here the elf blush brush then the other side of my face there is this oh, annoying dot that doesn't want to come off next I'm going to bring the shade semi-sweet to my lower lash line I'm going to smudge it in from the inner part to the outer there is only one more shadow to use so it is the shade hot chocolate, so the shade over here, so I'm going to bring it also to my entire lash line. That was the eyeshadow look, I'm going to line my eyes and do some lashes outside of the camera and then I will be back. Okay, so I'm back, I did line my eyes outside of camera, I did just a basic thin line to my lash line, I really haven't been into winged eyeliner recently or anything too dramatic 
Then I did put on some lashes. I used the Eyelure 111 and then I also did put some black to my borderline. Usually the closer we get to spring I'm really not that much into black borderline but I do like it with eyeshadow looks that are this deep and this smoky. Because this look is pretty deep and smoky I'm going to keep the rest of the makeup pretty neutral and light. I'm going in with my Panda face palette of this year. This is the Viva La Diva Dream Cheap blush and highlighter palette. This is a little bit of spoiler <laughs> to my Panda face palette. As you can see there is not pan whatsoever. I honestly don't know when I will be able to fit pan on this one because you know blush is really really hard to hit pan on. I haven't even used these highlighters yet because I'm panning another highlighter. But anyways, I'm just going to use the blush Sunny Day. So it is this neutral brown matte blush. One of my favorite blushes in my collection, I think. I love this kind of blushes. And when I'm using neutral blushes like this, I like to bring the blush just like on top of the contour and not that much to my, what is the apple of my cheek. Okay, then to highlight, I'm going to use my The Balm Mary Luminizer. This one I have in Project Pan. I have also repressed it, but I think it's a perfect highlighter to this look. I'm also going to highlight my inner corner with this one. Since I wanted to keep my rest of the makeup neutral and since this is the Too Faced Chocolate Power Palette Pingo, I thought I want to use this Too Faced Natural Nude Lipstick in the Sade Perte Suite today. So I'm going to go in with this one but before I'm going to just line my lips with this Jeffree Star Cosmetics Lip Liner in Celebrity Skin. By the way, this lip liner is awesome. It's so, so creamy, like I barely need to touch my skin with this one and, you know, it will stick to my skin. And when this dries, it's like waterproof and smudge-proof. It doesn't move anywhere. But of course, I know everybody doesn't support this brand. And also, the only thing I have to complain is that this cap is so stupid and unnecessary. Then the last thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to set my face and I'm going to use the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. I do have the mini size. Okay, I'm still going to do my hair and put on some jewelry outside of camera so then I will be back for final thoughts. Okay, so this is the finished look. I know it wasn't like the most exciting palette pingo ever and it wasn't that challenging. The only challenge I had was that I didn't get like a light enough transition set but I was able to make the semi-sweet work and even though this look is not like super adventurous I think it turned out very well and this is definitely something I can pull off to the family dinner. But that was everything for today. It was super fun to do this video. I will for sure do palette bingos later this year too with different palettes. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please put thumbs up and see you in my next video. Bye bye.